To the channel my name is Ryan your DIY guy and if you're new here welcome make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything but on today's DIY we're creating a DIY privacy gate fence so that we can keep those nosy neighbors out from checking on what's going on in your backyard now without any further ado let's get into the build because it's a super simple DIY with readily available materials and very limited tools so let's get started so here we have our backyard privacy gate it is not much of a privacy gate because you can see right through it and I want to close those larger gaps in between because as you can see the nosy neighbors can see right through and that's also where the trash is dumped so I don't want prying eyes I'm going to take plank strips that are cut to size 173 millimeters from top to bottom and I'm going to sand them and stain them then I can secure them to the privacy gate. So, on to cutting. Here we've got the beautiful pine timber. They are equal sized in width as well as in length, 273 millimeters, as I mentioned. I'm going to give it a light sand just to you know smooth out any rough edges with an 80 grit sandpaper, and then I can move on to staining them to match the privacy fence. I'm using this orbital sander. It is a nice triangular palm sander which works in an orbital fashion. But if you don't have an electric sander, you can always use your hand. I'm using an 80 grit sandpaper which does quick and light work of sanding, which is something everyone loves, I'm sure. Now here I'm applying the stain and sanding actually opens the pores of the wood to accept the stain and the stain then seals it. Now the great thing about this stuff is that it is water-based but provides longevity to the wood. So even if you do make a mess on your hands or clothes, cleanup is a breeze and it comes in a variety of colors which makes it very versatile. Absolutely love it. And the more you apply, the darker the stain becomes. Here's the setup of the tools that I'll be using my cordless drill and I'm gonna be using a steel drill bit that's going to be five millimeters in diameter and that will give me enough clearance for our lag bolts which are these little fellas over here they are five millimeters in diameter and 40 millimeters in length they come in a pack of 15 and i've got about three packs because i'll be drilling two holes on the top and bottom of at least seven of those wooden pieces so let's get on to it This is a closer look at the lag bolts. You can see they are five millimeters in diameter on the head and 40 millimeters in length. And that will just give me just enough clearance to go through the front and back of the steel gate, as well as bite into the wood sufficiently and hold it securely. So I'm gonna be using two holes on the left and right of each piece, going right through from the front to the back and I'm going to be drilling the holes with this steel drill bit and that will make light work of the steel but there is many holes to drill so as you're drilling make sure that you have a oil based lubricant that can just make drilling much easier and also not heat up the drill bit too much all my holes are now drilled and wait for it 64 in total on the top and the bottom that's two at the top going through to the other side. So four at the top and four at the bottom. Yes, it was quite a lot. But now I can move on to my brad point drill bit, which is specifically for wood. And this will allow me to create enough of a pilot hole for my lag bolt to screw into and bite into the wood sufficiently. And I, all I want to do is literally just get the hole started. I don't want to drill all the way through. So a good tip here is to use a bit of tape I haven't in this instance, but I know the depth I want to go to. And literally halfway is the max that you want to drill through. And then I'm going to move my attention now to using this eight millimeter socket and I place my 
screw or my lag bolt into it which fits snugly and just get it started right I don't want to go wild when I drill it in I've got it on the lower setting for screwing in and just you hear it bite into the wood and you know then it's catching but the good thing is because you did the pilot hole it doesn't cause the wood to split which can happen on pine wood especially on the edges The first wooden board is up and it's looking pretty good. There's no splinters and no lag bolts sticking through on the other side. So very pleased with that. The bottom was a bit tight but I just upped the torque on my drill bit and it sliced through it like a hot knife through butter. That's one down, seven more to go. So we're on to the last piece over here and you can see I've secured it at the top. It's cut at the bottom just underneath where your hand needs to gain access and I'm going to drill two holes round about here and one further up just to secure that piece in place and do the same with the bottom piece secured at the bottom and then two holes on the side for two more screws and that should wrap it up. Well there you have it, the privacy gate is now complete from the not so privacy gate that it was before. It now protects from any prying eyes or nosy neighbors and passers by. I absolutely love doing this. It was a super simple DIY with very easy materials and tools at your disposal. So I hope you enjoy this content. If you found value, please smash that like button, hit subscribe and make sure to press that notification bell so you get alerted the next time we post another DIY here on the channel. Uh, make sure to like and comment on what you'd like to see next and stay tuned coming up for the next DIY on Nail and Screw.